banana peppers. Uh, join me today as I clean makeup brushes. I should actually put clean in air quotes because right now I am more or less disinfecting them um, for use tomorrow. I would love to film that pink makeup tutorial and I've really been enjoying the tweets. I almost said I've really been enjoying the tweets on Twitter uh, this weekend because I was asking you guys for suggestions on what I can call a pink eye makeup tutorial without just straight up calling it um, pink eye because that just sounds so gross. Uh, but I have been asked so many times to do a tutorial on my pink eye makeup look. I feel like I get stuck in these go-to looks that are like extreme, like I feel, I don't know why I'm never like, oh, I'm just gonna do like a, a natural eye that takes about five minutes to apply. No, 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 <laughs> like somehow I get stuck into like, I'm gonna do um, vibrant red makeup every single day or bright pink makeup, um, mm. which is so crazy because I feel like a while ago, like I kind of couldn't stand pink. I know we've had this discussion before where I said pink, like hot pink was my favorite color when I was in high school. Um, and then like I went through this period where I was just like, oh, pink, bleh. Um, and now I'm kind of like coming around to it again where I'm like, oh, hot pink is my favorite color ever. Uh, so I'm gonna be using this Dior brush cleaner, which I think it's mostly just like alcohol, honestly. Um, <clears throat> and it's definitely not like a full on scrubbing, but I just use these makeup brushes I don't know, honestly, I really, if I was like an intelligent person, um, I would be full on cleaning them because normally I never reuse a brush. I don't even know why I'm doing what I'm doing anymore, honestly. I just, <laughs> um, how do you guys feel about double-ended brushes, right? Are these like kind of, like I honestly, I love them when I look at them. I'm like, oh, I'm so excited for a double-ended brush. Uh, but then when I use them, I kind of just, mm, I don't know. Cause I feel like you just can't put them in a freaking container. Cause no matter what you do, you're gonna mash down one side and then what have you got? You've got one side of a brush that's just smashed. You guys, um, it's been a wild ride for the past couple of days. I have not been feeling my best. Ooh, did y'all just hear that? It was like a clacking of a footstep, but I'm the only one in this room. Um, anywho, it's been a, a wild week. Um, what is another word for it? Tenacious. Um, I feel like I got like kind of mild food poisoning. And then on top of that, I've had a wonderful hormonal week. Um, it has not been delightful. But look, this stuff, I feel like it really does clean so easily. I'm not even showing you guys anything that I'm doing. I had this brush that was like covered with hot pink makeup. And I just put like a couple squirts. Honestly, I love this stuff so much because I mean, it's alcohol, so it does sanitize. Um, but obviously it's not as good as just straight up like actual vigorous shampooing of brushes. Um, but it really does remove the color. You know what? I'm going to show you guys on the next like super dirty one. Sometimes I feel like I clean my brushes too violently, if I'm gonna be honest. I'm just kind of getting in there and like mashing down the fibers. Um, how was you guys' weekend? Was it delightful? Was it good? Was it bad? Did you do anything fun? I had a bunch of people asking me uh, when to start decorating for Halloween because I posted the other day on Instagram. I had my first ever for this year, visit to um, Spirit Halloween, which I will just say, can I have this saucy little moment? I love Spirit Halloween, honestly, but I do kind of feel like maybe, I'm looking for something clean to put like the kind of clean makeup brushes in. Oh, I know, Mr. Skull. Calling Mr. Skull for duty, thank you. Um, I kind of feel like Spirit has maybe overly saturated or dominated the Halloween store game. Let me know if you feel the same. So see, look, I got this little dirty makeup brush here. Just give it a couple little squirts. Squirt, squirt. And then, um, see, like I feel like it does do the job. Um, 
Anyway, let me know if you guys feel the same because I feel like a couple of years ago, I feel like kind of even maybe like the first year that I did Vlogween, right? Like there was Halloween Express, there was Spirit Halloween, there was, um, now I can't remember the names of it all, but I don't know, it was like Halloween World or something like that. It was like, or Halloween Town is in Burbank, I think. Um, so not like a chain or anything, but there was one that was called something like Halloween Town, where it was like Halloween Land or Halloween whatever. Um, and in their logo, like the letter O was a jack-o'-lantern and it was so cute. But now, um, we have multiple Halloween stores that look like they're cropping up. We only have one store that's open right now, which is Spirit Halloween. Um, and there were some other ones where like, and now I sound like a total creep and a stalker. Uh, but when Kat was here, we were kind of like driving around to different locations. Actually, we were driving to a bunch of these different places because I was shopping for a bunch of different like school supplies for the back to school giveaway. Um, and I got really excited because we were driving past where Halloween Express was last year. And they were in this old like top golf building, which maybe I just now sound like I'm talking a bunch of words if you don't know what any of these businesses are. But Halloween Express for the past couple of years has been moving in an old top golf location. It was just like a place that sold golf stuff. Um, and I had seen while Kat was here like a bunch of brown paper boxes. And I literally got out of the car and ran up because I was like, ooh, who's moving in here? And I saw that it said like Halloween props and decorations. And I was like, yes, Halloween Express is back. Um, but my parents were driving by there the other day and said that it was just another spirit. And I'm like, well, what? What? what um because now i'm just kind of like oh like it looks like there's three halloween stores opening in my area and they're all three spirits which if they had different merchandise at, e at each location like it would be more exciting but they kind of don't they really have the same stuff um across the board which i mean like spirit and halloween express have a lot of the same stuff as well but um at least there's like some differences so that was a really long diatribe to uh, to answer a question I didn't even answer because people were kind of asking me on that post, um, when do you start decorating for Halloween? And I feel like every year I kind of start doing it earlier and earlier. <laughs> I kind of had intended to start decorating in August, but then I'm like, wait, um, don't just make your neighbors completely angry. I don't know, a part of me is just like, how can you hate decorations? Like, even if it is too early or like somebody leaves their Christmas stuff up too late, but maybe that's just kind of, I don't know. Um, things like that just don't bother me. Um, but I don't know, I guess, I guess I can see like why some people would get mad about like decorations, but I'm just like, I love seeing it. Like I'm always so happy, honestly, when people are like negligent to take down their Christmas decorations because I just think driving around and like seeing lights is a lot of fun. And um, I drive around a lot. <clears throat> God. Ugh. You guys, listen, I feel like I have a frog in my throat, honestly. And I don't, why, why? I hope I'm not getting sick or... <laughs> Um, wow, that water just like splashed up my nose. Oh my gosh, you guys. Um, <clears throat> that's just like my personal thing. Like I'm always, I, I honestly do wish there were a lot of people that like decorated for Halloween in August. I mean, it's just fun. It's like something fun to look forward to. And I don't know about you guys, but that's why I feel like fall and stuff is the best season. Cause then you just know you're going to be seeing stuff for like the remainder of the year, you know? Cause like most people I feel like do just pretty much go from like Halloween decorations to like Christmas decorations. Um, and so like, you just know, like you're going to drive around it's going to like, even if maybe if you're in a bad mood or you're upset about something, like you're going to drive around, you're going to see like something fun, something festive. Um, and so that's just kind of my thoughts. There's never really too early of a time. So I guess you just got to judge your neighborhood. Like, are your neighbors going to get mad if you put a pumpkin out in August? I don't know. I hope not. I hope you have cool neighbors. <laughs> I, does anybody else also kind of like sad about that? Or maybe you live somewhere where like, I kind of wish that we had that. I find that like when I, I remember like when I was a kid like you talked to your neighbors and now like literally no neighbor interaction ever like I can count on this number of fingers the times that I've seen another person outside seen them like I'm like what is everybody doing like it, how can everyone possibly be as reclusive as I um but 
Um, am I even cleaning the right brushes that I need? I feel like liner brushes, like these little suckers. <sighs> you! Uh, they're always the hardest ones to clean. Whatever that was. That was just my little song I had in my head. That's not a good song. I should stop now. I'm kind of excited to um, get back into like doing a makeup tutorial. I don't know. You guys, I kind of had a revelation over the past couple of days that I kind of just like um, don't want to care anymore. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. Like I miss so much like the kind of videos that I would look forward to, genuinely look forward to posting and making um, this little conversation again. Um, see what I'm saying? Like how can this much, this tiny brush holds that much residue? And I've cleaned like five other brushes and n not, not nearly the amount that's on here. What on earth? Um, anyway, I kind of had a revelation that like I just want to go back to like making like outfit of the day videos again like shoe unboxing videos again um and I don't know stuff like that like that's not the only thing I miss but like I kind of am just over like chasing popularity or um just like making content in hopes that it's gonna get a bunch of views like I'm kind of just uh beyond over it and I would rather just have a good time making content that actually makes me joy to make, whatever that content might be. Um, and who knows, I might be just stuck in like 2012, 13, 2012, 13, mm. 2012, 2013 content. I mean, it's not to say that I don't want to try anything new because I feel like I do, but like, honestly, nothing brings me more joy than like, I had so much fun doing that Rev Air video like a couple of weeks ago, which was just like, does this thing really work? And it was fun to me. It's just like, get a weird product, test it out, like give some thoughts about it, have a good time, film it yourself. <laughs> like, you know, I don't know. I mean, not to say that I don't like filming with other people, but it's just kind of like, I just don't know if my brain ultimately works that way. Ugh, you guys, I'm still cleaning this eye, angle eye brush. So I don't know. It's like I wanna just get back into the swing of things and just make content that I love, that I would want to watch myself, I guess you could say, instead of just trying, I don't know. Ugh, another conversation for another day. But I am pretty excited about doing like a makeup tutorial. I think that'll be fun. I've never been the best at makeup, but I do have fun with it and I feel like it brings me joy. And that is pretty much all that I can say about that. You know what, I kind of, now at this point I'm just like, am I taking like coloration off this brush? I don't remember, like, you know, sometimes the brushes with the like color coordinated handles, like sometimes they will have like colored tips, like how this tart one is like um, kind of a teal minty green kind of color. So now I'm like, wait, was this pink? And I'm just kind of like stripping it of its color. Um, so the next conversation is gonna be kind of boring, but I just have to talk to somebody about this. Um, video video we watched it's not a video it's like a documentary i think it was on netflix we recently got hulu thanks to you guys recommendations because um a couple weeks ago when i did that um south park unboxing i said oh like i wish we could fall asleep watching episodes of south park but it only plays like one episode or two episodes at a time which really sucks because i'm somebody i have to sleep with the tv on or like i will wake up if the tv stops playing or if the tv gets turned off and so you guys recommended hulu which thank you so much because we got it and we have been loving it because it pretty much will play I, it almost plays south park throughout the night like first of all all the seasons of south park are on it which is just fantastic um, cause I feel like that is just honestly like my go-to show if I need like a laugh, if I'm just kind of feeling sad or if I'm feeling upset or whatever. Um, and it usually always does the trick. Um, 
I mean, it'll usually like kind of play throughout the night. I want to say it seems like it plays for like five or six hours consecutively, which is good. I at least get like five straight hours of sleep. Um, so I don't know if we found this documentary, Dogman found it on uh, Netflix or on Hulu, but I think it was called like Being Napoleon. I looked it up later and then I think some places like in some regions, because maybe it was a French documentary, honestly. Um... And then it's like dubbed for English or like vice versa. I don't know. Cause some places I've seen it called Napoleon versus Napoleon. But it is like one of the wildest things that I've ever seen. Um, no, I'll take that back. I was being exaggeratory. I'll just tell you like a brief synopsis. Um, Cause it's kind of amusing. So if you want to watch it, I don't want to like tell you the whole skadoodle skadoodle. Um, but it's basically about these people that reenact the battle of Waterloo. And I mean, these people are serious like this this is not a hobby this is a lifestyle um and it's just so it, and it's like it just shows you these it's these two guys I'm doing a really bad because I'm like trying to think in my head about like um what to not say to like not really give the plot away completely but basically it's about these two guys who are trying to portray Napoleon and they both do like on several occasions but this was I think for 2015 was like the 200th year mark of the Battle of Waterloo and so it was kind of like who's gonna play Napoleon on like the most important reenactment of Waterloo ever it's just like something like that and it's so wild and these people are like so charismatic and I've never really seen any documentary or like inside the lives of um and I kind of don't know the difference so please don't get mad at me it's just complete ignorance I don't know the difference between LARPers and reenactors because I know like LARP is like live action role play and then reenactors maybe it's like the historical aspect whereas like LARPers will do like completely fiction I don't know clarify down below if you know but it was just like so interesting to see these people that are like so into like what button is on their costume and like they're just so into it I don't know I was just like oh my god like how magical must it be like to just like do something and not not even like look at a phone or have a phone or anything you're just out there reenacting the battle of waterloo you know have a little camp sitting around a campfire good time good good friends I'm sure um but I don't know. I just really enjoyed watching that because I have always been interested in Napoleon. I know I brought that up. Okay. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why. Like, for the first, like, 15 years of my life, I was just obsessed with French history. Why? Why? How did that happen? I honestly don't know. Oh, I do know. I do. The Three Musketeers was like a gateway drug into that because I just became obsessed with that. Um, Three Musketeers. I think I read that for the first time in, like, fourth or fifth grade and then just whew, it's like sucked out a portion of my soul um because I read every book in the Musketeers series and then I read Count of Monte Cristo which I honestly think Count of Monte Cristo was like more impactful on my life than Three Musketeers um there's that I just chunked that out there um now I realize I've just been obsessively cleaning the same makeup brush as I've been talking, like not focusing on what I'm doing, just talking. And I got into Cat of Monte Cristo uh, and I think then that just spawned that I wanted to know everything about French history, obsessed with all the kings and queens, um, mostly really got fixated on Louis XIV, Marie Antoinette and Napoleon. Um, and so I, yeah, I don't know, just thought, I, I don't know don't want to go into that just thinking napoleon's up in heaven drinking a glass of orange juice maybe he's not i don't know probably did some bad stuff i don't know i used to have this joke with all my friends like back in junior high where i literally thought anyone that i loved that had died was just in a cave drinking orange juice so i used to just have this thought in my head that like napoleon vincent price and you know everybody good was just in a cave drinking orange juice I still actually that joke actually lives with me and one of my friends to this day we just talk about Vincent Price in a cave drinking orange juice like why they'd want to be in a cave all the time I don't know I don't know why I thought that sounded great to me when I was a kid just sitting in a cave <laughs> and why only orange juice orange juice would maybe I don't but do you feel when you're dead you know because I was thinking like oh if you only drank orange juice that would be like uh pretty acidic on the digestive organs but um 
Maybe not when you're dead. I don't know. Maybe just a lifetime supply of orange juice sitting in a cave. Is Do they get cable TV in a cave? I don't know. Should I stop this video now? Just more of my insane ramblings for 20 minutes. Everybody has got to love that. Do I have enough brushes to do this? I don't even know if it's going to be a tutorial, honestly. See, I keep drinking water and then I keep grabbing for this. And every time during this video, I've almost grabbed for the water and just dumped water on this brush, which wouldn't really hurt it. But that's the great thing about this is it's so high in alcohol content. Look, hashtag not spawns. Um, it's so high on the alcohol content that I feel like it almost cleans um, disinfects and dries the brushes instantly. Anywho, wow, this brush cleaned up real quick. <sighs> well, you guys, is my video going to be a tutorial? I don't know. Um, I have so many videos I need to upload and I'm just like, I don't know what I'm waiting for. Like just a personal invitation from my psyche, I guess. Um, Ooh, I really like this one. Can I just say I love brushes with... <laughs> slightly abrasive bristles. Why do I like that? Honestly, like when I get a makeup brush, it's kind of a little on the rough side. Like I'm like, ooh, yeah, I feel like it kind of blends better sometimes. Is that just me? I have so many unpopular opinions. Um, that's just one of them. Well, you guys, Dogman and I might take another walk. I've really, honestly, I know I say this a lot um, and I'll probably definitely say it again because I started weekly vlogging again. I feel like I said it there where I was like, I feel like I've been saying forever, like, I want to feel better. I want to be a better person. I want to not be so, um, I don't know, like, just kind of out of shape, unhealthy. Um, do I want to say unhappy? I don't know. Um, not happy with myself right now, honestly, if that's okay to say. Um... But I feel like I started actually like a couple of days ago actually working on it. Just like forcing myself to drink more water, forcing myself to only like eat healthy snacks, like forcing myself to like walk around and like get on a treadmill and like actually exercise and like just actually working through some of the things um, that frustrate me. How? amazing is this brush though honestly it's a million years old they're already on clearance at ulta it's the um what is this brand real techniques i think they're called brush crush love them but i don't know i'm actually trying to like work on some things and i feel like it is improving overall i feel like i get frustrated like if i don't feel like results quickly because i'm like i drink water all day i don't feel better um, I'm kind of like that sometimes. Like, I feel like I do have uh, somewhat unrealistic expectations for things sometimes. Um, but I can tell the change, like, little by little. It's good. It makes me feel better than just not trying at all. At least now that I'm trying, I feel like at least there's something in trying, you know, than just sitting on the sidelines doing nothing and just complaining all the time of like why you don't feel better and <laughs> you know um so yeah that is it oh i wanted to show you guys this also i'm sorry i always wear sunglasses on this channel now but i kind of think i'm gonna keep doing that because i feel like when i record in like really gross yucky light it doesn't it's just like doesn't look good like I love you guys more than that. I don't want y'all to like just see me in the dark. But also I do sort of have concerns that these bright lights constantly shining in my eyes like do give me retinal damage. And so I feel like it's just good to wear some kind of tinted glasses over my eyes when I can instead of just being like, well, just let my eyes sear. Um, let me ask you guys a question. Um, I bought this eyeshadow because I was so excited for it. Um, they had this whole line out when Kat was here at, we went to Ulta because we went shopping for a video, which we're, I still need to edit it. We swapped makeup bags metaphorically because you guys know I don't share makeup with anybody. Um, so we went like shopping for each other's products and we went to Ulta together and I saw Dose of Colors had this whole new range of eyeshadows. I was really excited about them. Um, I don't know if they're called like any specific name, um, you know, like the Diamond Collection or whatever. I bought this one because it's called Caffeine Queen. Um, 
and I really liked the color of it, not just the name, but I opened it and like, look, it looks like, I just don't know if this is normal. So I'm asking a friend, I'm phoning a friend. I'm on who wants to be a millionaire. I'm trying to get this answer right right now. So I'm phoning a friend, you're my friend. Um, it looks strange, but you know what? I've never owned one. So I don't know if this is like how it's supposed to look or like what's up or like if you guys can even see what I'm seeing. Cause like, you know, the samples were all like kind of smoothed over and mashed down, but it looks like sunk into the pan. Like, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see. And then it looks like kind of like chunky in texture, but it also is kind of like a foiled shadow, but I don't know. I might like still just go to Ulta tomorrow and look at the other ones and see if they're supposed to kind of like have that kind of texture, if I just got a weird one, I don't know, I'm kind of excited to use it. But I'm also scared to use it. Like we went shopping, we went shopping in Ulta and Sephora and I have a whole stack of products that I have to take back. You ever see like in a store, you see like smudgy fingerprints on the exterior packaging. And while that does make me gag in my mouth a little bit, um, normally I just like take the product out. I know how insane this sounds, but I take the product out and I sanitize it with one of these little alcohol swabs. And then if the product isn't touched, then like not a big deal. Um, but we bought so much makeup that was swatched or used and then put back in a box. I've never seen anything like that in my life. Um, and I was so sad because there was a, a color corrector stick that I got that was a Dior one and it like it was clearly used and put back in a box and so I'm like and so we bought that on the same day and so now I'm just kind of like jumpy because I'm like oh like did somebody touch that one too and I've had it just sitting here on the side lines because I'm like well maybe that's just how it is so I was just gonna like ask the audience and see if you guys have bought any of those and if they do look the same way because I know like a lot of like foiled eyeshadows are kind of textured like that it's not a big deal it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it it's just kind of like how it looks and I'm not like familiar enough with that product or that brand to know if it's supposed to look like that or not and so there we have it uh but that's gonna that's gonna do it for today I think I hopefully have enough makeup brushes for one makeup tutorial I've got like 12 makeup brushes here and I'm very excited. I'm excited to do it. I hope it's gonna be up in a couple of days. I hope you guys will be excited for me to do like shoe unboxings and stuff like that again. I actually have like some Toy Story shoes that I wanna unbox and make a video for, but you guys, that was like the kind of content that I was just like chomping at the bit to like upload and to make and to do. And I do just want to like get back to doing things that like genuinely make me happy. Cause like, how can I be happy? Or like, how can you guys be happy watching content that like, I'm not genuinely passionate about making. And I don't know, I feel like over the couple of months there's been like some content that's new and different that I have been passionate about and some that I haven't. Some I'm just trying to like chuck out and see where it lands. Um, and so I don't know, you guys, this is like kind of a, I almost said dark ages, that's real bleak, let's not go there. Um, but it's just kind of like a, I'm just kind of like running around just trying to figure out like I feel like we all have those transformative moments in our life where we're just kind of like scrambling and like trying to figure it all out and you know that's kind of where I'm at right now scrambling trying to figure it all out but we'll get there um and so that is it for me today I don't know what that little one potato two potato isn't that what I'm thinking of right no love you guys and I will see y'all soon. Um, I kind of want to do another unboxing on this channel. I have more Care Bears that I want to unbox. And honestly, can I show you guys? Can I, I literally want to ask your permission to open this with you guys. Because I know, okay, I'm going to go get it. And then you can tell me yes or no in the comments down below. Um, wait, don't go. I honestly do want to open this in a video, but I just know, like, I don't know why I love things like this. Okay. Like why, why? I don't know, but it is simplistic joy. Um, there's these weird, the whole thing is a mystery and it's this weird thing called a poopsie. It's a unicorn. And I think it poops. I think it poops. I think it poops slime actually. Yes. You feed it and it magically poops slime. You add magic and it changes color. I honestly don't know what's going on here. I'm hoping, actually I'm hoping for any of them. I, I 
literally like if i was a unicorn i would want to look like this okay they're just they're all cute i think the one with like the rainbow hair is the most rare but i don't really know anything about it um and I feel like this kind of stuff pops up on my Instagram all the time because I follow some friends that also love like squishies and like, um, and I also follow, follow like Kid Robot, which they make a bunch of the blind boxes. So it's kind of like, I feel like a lot of that always shows up in my Instagram feed. So I feel like that's why I'm always shown this kind of stuff. I just couldn't pass it up. And I kind of want to open it with you guys, but also I know that some people just literally hate, loathe content like this. Um, but I... I'm just kind of always like a big kid at heart. Like it's just these simple things that are like kind of silly and kind of childish. Like they just make me feel like genuinely happy, you know? It's just something that's kind of fun. I don't, I think it's kind of like that thing that I opened last year, um, which was like that giant LOL surprise thing. Are those things still, actually never mind. I don't even want to ask that because I know the answer is yes because a couple weeks ago, I was like filming in Target. I think it was for a portion of my weekly vlog or maybe it's when we were all filming in Target for the back to school thing. And so since we were like in the toy section looking for Tamagotchis like I always do, I think these people thought since I had a camera or whatever that I was like a toy vlogger. And so they were like, can we just ask you like, do you do you know where we can get the LOL surprise dolls? Never mind. Uh, I do know that those are still like insanely popular. But I think it's like that anyway. I think it's like a bigger, because I think it's like a bigger thing. I don't know. Basically, just let me know. Because I almost just opened it the other day. Because I'm like, literally nobody wants to see this. Nobody cares. But then I'm like, I want to open it on a video. I feel like it would be fun. Someone out there has got to care. And I care. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just feel honestly like I never know what to do anymore. Because like what I want to do versus what like people are going to find like too childish or boring or whatever. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like back in the Shutter Island days, okay? Were you here for my Shutter Island days? I just kind of like dripped wax all over my nails and like didn't care how people perceived me. And I definitely was a lot happier. <laughs> but I don't know. Mm. Just think about all those old guys right now just dressed as Napoleon out in the woods. They probably don't even have Facebook, okay? Like, how, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Wow. Also, why am I doing that? I said, hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. I'm just, like, throwing this water around as if it's an empty bottle. Mmm. I love you guys. <coughs> and I'm gonna go. Why did I just take such a big sip? Regret. <coughs> I love you guys. And I will see y'all very soon.